Okay, what we're going to have a look at here is uh, installing Jamroom 5. We're going to uh, get from jamroom.net. Uh, we're going to go to download, download the core, unzip it, and upload it to our FTP server. Core, download now. Save it somewhere where you know where it is. And then in your file manager, there's mine there. Extract it. Then you're going to need an FTP program uh, to log into your server. Here's mine here. It's my local server, and I'm going to install it into this one to Jamroom 5. Oh, that's the wrong one. HTTP docs. Right, so don't need anything in there to start with. And we've got a clean uh, uh, Jamroom 5 directory. So we're going to take all of the core and copy it up onto our server. This is a local server for me. Uh, you'd be uploading it into a rental server from wherever you get your uh, hosting and domain names from. There we go. Okay, it's uploaded. So you don't need that anymore. Let's go and have a look at it. Mine is at uh, is where I've put it, and there we go. We've forgotten one thing: it, uh, hidden files. This is a really important file. HD access. Uh, it makes sure our routing works. So uh, make sure you upload your hidden files as well. Refresh that page. And there we go. So it's telling us the following directories are not writable. Data, cache, config, data cache, data config, data logs, and data media. Let's go into that one. All of those ones. Change the permissions to whatever they need to be on the server. That's 777, so all writable. Try that again, refresh. Okay, so it's asking us for our uh, MySQL database username and password. So we need to make a uh, a database and a user uh, on our server. So we go into our control panel uh, for our server. Uh, you get that login information from your hosting company, and uh, create a new database. Add a MySQL database and user. That's what we want to do. We want to give it uh, a name give it a username and then you're going to uh, choose a very hard to guess password then we can go back to jam room and put in that password copy and paste the username and to the, uh, the database and install click OK don't want to do that of course, you're going to read all of this here. It says uh, Jamroom's open source. Continue to your new Jamroom. There we go. We've installed it. Uh, now, one of the key things to note with Jamroom is when you start out, there is no uh, uh, no admin user account. The first user account you create is going to be your admin user account. So that's going to have all of the privileges of the admin. And then everyone after that is going to be a normal user account. So admin some email address the account's been activated and you've been logged in now the first thing that happens is you come here to the uh, to the system core server check page 
and you can see all of the lights are green. If there was something wrong with your server, uh, then one of these lights would be red. That's it. We've installed Jamroom. This is the uh, the back end admin control panel where your modules and your skins are. And if you click there, then you've got the front end. And you've got your admin profile. So that's how, how quick and easy it is to install Jamroom. Done.